So now you guys can use unlimited Flux AI for free without installing this on your local computer and without going through from the lengthy process. You can use this right now on a web interface and for free. And let me show you how. Alright, so you guys can use this on a Picklumen website and this is the URL picklumen.com Well, I have already covered a detailed video on this platform but now they have introduced some new features like image to video, image in painting and also the consistent characters and the most important Flux AI. So we're gonna try all of these features and we're gonna compare this with Mid Journey. Now to access this you have to click on this launch app and the best thing about this AI you don't need to even sign up your account. So here's the interface of this AI tool. So in the model section you can see we have multiple pre-generated models generated by the Piclio man and then we also have the Flux Chanel. So first of all we're gonna try the image to image model that they have recently added and for that I'm gonna use the Piclumen realistic model which is the pre-generated model. Now to upload your reference image just click on this image icon and I would like to use this character for a reference. So just upload your image. So once it's done just select your character and now you can see we have multiple options. So we have the content reference, we have the style reference and we have the character reference. So if you want to generate the same character you can go with the character reference and if you want the same style in your images you can select the style reference. But I would like to go with the character reference and then you can even control the strength of your input image. So I would like to keep it default like 0.5 and in the prompt section let's type the prompt a girl with red hairs wearing a karate dress standing in a boxing ring then you can even choose the aspect ratio so i would like to go with the default one ratio one then you can even control the number of images so let's go with the three and hit generate all right so these are the output images and you can see this is the exact same character you can see the facial features are matching in all of these images and because we uploaded the cartoon character so that is why we have the cartoonish face but with some realistic touch and it looks very very good now in the same way you can place your character any way you want and if you click on the image section you can see we have the download option you can even remix your images you can see we have a built-in background remover we have the built-in upscaler but recently they have added the in painting option so we're going to try the in painting option so just click on the in paint button and now you can see we have this editor hairs and you can also adjust the brush size accordingly so let's say i want to change the color of her hair so i will simply paint the hair area only and you can just make a very rough selection and in the prompt section I will type blue hairs and hit generate. Alright so this is the output and now our character has the blue hairs. Not blue but it's kind of purple and blue mix of that but this hair color looks good on her. Now let's move on to the flux AI that is my most favorite feature in this one. So I'm gonna select the flux Chanel which is the lower tier model and to generate the prompt for that I will be using this flux prompt generator and this is available on hugging face you will find this link in the description below so here you can see we have the multiple options here now in the first box you just need to give a basic idea of your prompt so let's say a pirate girl in her ship now if i scroll down this will ask you some more questions so you can select your gender in my case this is going to be a female gender and then you can select the photography style whatever style you want to go i would like to go with the photography style and inside the photo type you can select your camera angles so let's just keep it straight on and here we have some more options like the character details scene details styles and art you can also check out these options if you want but i would like to go with these settings now once you're done with your settings just click on the generate prompt with llm so basically this is using llama 3 on the back end to generate the prompt so hit generate all right so it generated a very lengthy prompt with a lot of details in it so i'm gonna copy this prompt as it is and paste it inside of the prompt section and let's see what it comes up with all right so these are the output images and you can see in all of these images we have the pirate woman but she is not on her ship the ship is standing near to her and she's holding a camera you can see we have very stylized images you can see we have very warm tones in it and uh, this is because uh, there was a warm golden hours scene uh, added into the prompt and to me it looks very high quality so why not to try the same prompt inside of the mid journey i know this is not a fair comparison but but just to get a basic idea we're going to compare this with the mid journey so these are the outputs from the mid journey and if i have to compare this i would like to go with this image because this image looks more similar to the flux image all right so this is the side by side comparison the image on the left is from the mid journey and the image on the right is from the peak lumen and the flux AI image has some more saturation more contrast in it and if we talk about the mid journey image it tries to keep it more towards the natural lighting but in terms of quality both images have the same quality because if i zoom in both of these images the image quality looks similar in both of these images all right so here is the one more output with the prompt photograph of a woman wearing a joker mask on a street busy street and these are the outputs just look at these images it's amazing this is very solid image and here's the one more image isn't it look amazing and these are the images from the mid journey and here's the side by side comparison between mid journey and flux ai so the image on the left is from the mid journey and the image on the right is from the flux ai 
and to be honest I will prefer the flux AI image because we have more contrast in this we have more creativity in this one and if we look at the mid journey image obviously this is more on a realistic side but you can also notice we have a lot of noise in this image and in case of flux AI this is amazing you can see we have hyper realism it maintain the details and this image looks much better than the mid journey image and if you're finding the faults in the images come on bro this is totally free and in case of the mid journey you are paying 30 dollars a month and i think in the free options this is the best option because we don't have any pricing option on their website and they didn't even introduce any daily credit limit so we don't have any limitations here this is totally free at this moment while i'm recording this video i don't know in future if they introduce their plans but at this moment this is totally free and this is the best alternative to mid journey so the link is in the description below go ahead and give it a try and that's it from today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one